What up fam, this is your boy Beat It Slim Welcome back to another video on the channel Can y'all know this energy? Vibe with me, vibe with me The only reason I'm vibing this hard is because we haven't been posting on the channel lately So if y'all can go ahead down in the video down below Click that like button bro I want to see the love today bro Like Lion King Let me see the love tonight But in today's video we're going to be installing something that was way overdue Like way, way overdue Well guess what? If somebody were to hit me I got no evidence against you But now, thanks to our company AZ Dome I think that's how you say your name If I mispronounce it I'm so sorry AZ Dome They sent me a dash cam So super huge shout out to them I'm gonna post all their information In the link description down below And if you guys use the code That I'm gonna put right here Down here You get 5% off And July 12 and July 13 Is Prime Day So you get even extra savings So go ahead Check that out I'm also gonna put that Amazon link down In the description down below But we are gonna be Installing a dash cam Here on the G35 So if any of you must Crash my car I I got evidence now, boy. I'm gonna do a quick tour for the new viewers, though. This is a Supercharged G35. You can see the gauge is a little dark, but here's the car manual stick shift. Check it out. Here's the backside. Boom. Let me see that ass. Let me see that ass. Boom, boy. Front, but that's the front right there. It's on back. Check it out. And here's the baby. Woo! Sleeping. Anyways, let's go ahead and unbox this. So let's see what this dash can comes with. All right, so we just unleashed the first layer. Let's see, we got some cables right here. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a rear camera. This is a camera for your rear uh, view mirror. So, And then we got a bracket right here, which helps you install the main dash. And look, it comes with an SD chip, so you don't even got to buy memory. How nice of them. 64 gigs. It also comes with a car charger. You already know this is what gives the power to the dash cam. It's a cigarette lighter right there, so we have that, so it's all good in the hood. It also comes with this transparent placement. It has a little square there, so you know where to place your camera, so that's pretty neat. But here's the baby right here. Here's what, what's really the big deal right here. Boom, look at this bad boy. Comes with an LED screen right there, and then you close, open, and then you can see in the front, you got the freaking front facing camera. Also another good feature about this is that as soon as you turn on your car, it starts recording. As soon as you turn it off, it stops recording. Unless you have parking sensor activated, which is also on here, which means if your car is turned off, parked, and someone hits your car, it senses that with the G sensor it has inside. If it gets triggered, it'll record a 30 second clip. And here's another thing that you guys might be asking. Now what happens if your SD chip gets full? Like what the hell? Do you have to go buy another one? Nope. So this thing has this thing. It's it's like a looping thing. So basically, it'll keep recording until it's full. Once it gets full, all the old clips will start deleting and it'll start refilling the new one. So it just keeps going and going and going. Now, what if you had a collision and you really need that evidence, right? Will it delete that one? Here's the even better part, right? So when you get in a collision or anything and that thing gets triggered, the G sensor gets triggered, it'll not only record that clip of when you had that collision incident, whether it was parked or while you were driving, not only does it record that when it gets triggered it basically locks that clip so it even if it goes through the cycle it will not get deleted it will not get deleted because it was an important event and it's an emergency event it won't get deleted so that's a pretty cool neat trick so basically all we got to do right now is do some cable management we have this super long cable and I don't want it dangling here so we're gonna go ahead and manage that and I'll show you that right now now I do want to go ahead and showcase this right here I'm not I'm gonna go ahead and install it but this is a freaking rear view camera which is awesome it literally goes connected right to the side of that here's a little connector bit you just connect that go ahead and install that so you can see the rear view or you can somehow tap it into the trunk so that you have it right here in the back just recording your rear view mirror I personally don't think I need it hopefully it doesn't come to bite me in my ass in the future but I don't think I need it so now let's talk a little bit of specs about the dash cam what kind of quality does it shoot the front facing camera will shoot up to 4k so the resolution is gonna be really up to par it will only shoot in 30 frames per second it is not 60 frames per second sometimes it's very useful uh, sometimes it's useful to get 16 frames per second because for those of you guys who don't know with 60 frames per second you can slow down the clip and it'll be really smooth and so you can really see say you were going really fast on the highway and you hit someone and then he like runs away you'll be able to slow that clip down and really see his license plate right so with 30 frames per second you're going to 
gonna be slowing down the clips. You're gonna be getting 15 frames per second. Some of the frames can be blurry and stuff like that. So it's a little disadvantage, but honestly, I think it's super good. You shoot it in 4K, it shoots up to 2K, and you could even downscale it up to just 1080p, which is really awesome. So uh, we're gonna go out on the road, drive the car, see what kind of footage we get, and I'm gonna go ahead and post it on here. So there you guys have it. That was the dash cam in the G35. I really, really like how as soon as you get in the car and just turn it on, it starts recording. Like you don't even have to worry or remind yourself like, oh, I gotta press record. Oh, I forgot to press record. Like you don't even gotta worry about it. It just like records everything. So that was really, really cool. I enjoyed it. You guys can see on the clip, everything is well defined that you can read the license plate, everything else. It's a wide angle. You can see everything. Um, the audio was a little bit uh, shaky, a lot of vibration. Obviously, my car is super loud. If you have a normal car, I'd probably work a lot better. In my car, it gets really, really loud. So um, that could be a factor into it. But I mean, you're there for footage, right? So honestly, that was really good. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Definitely recommend it. And if you guys plan on getting it, like I said, Prime Day 12, which is today, the day you're watching it, and tomorrow, it's gonna be Prime day huge savings and additionally five percent off if you use that code so go ahead check it out az dome dash cam i'll catch you guys later peace